So the works in this show relate to sleep patterns and activity patterns. And it, it's, it's really the simple idea that the way you spend your time, day and night, waking, sleeping, you know, sort of how much attention do you really spend on any one thing? You really notice it's like five minutes, 10 minutes. How much time do you really pay attention? That that somehow is reflective of some in, internal proportions of, of yourself, your mind, how you operate. is if you're an artist and you really pay attention to yourself and you see something and if you believe it's real, you could precede a scientific idea. It might be very much like a scientist that creates a hypothesis and then spends you know, years and years and years going out to test it. Maybe an artist is exactly the same. If you create an idea, you can go test it. And so a lot of the works of these are in fact experiments, they're tests to go assess this idea that rhythm or visual rhythm or the nature of rhythm in the mind can actually feel familiar, like a memory. I think, I think you'll see as we talk today is the idea that science can have this very human feel to it and have a sense that's really accessible in a way that's really not directly feels scientific. And I think that's one of the kind of the big ideas. You figure things out, or I figure things out, a tiny little piece at a time. You know, some people think that an artist has this big aha moment, and it really doesn't, for me, ever happen like that. It's like you figure one tiny thing out, and the next tiny thing, and the next, and the next. I'm looking at something, but it feels the way a memory feels, and I thought, what if there's something odd about the rhythm of something that you see that actually causes your mind to feel as though it's recalling something. But then you start to realize, well, maybe there is a rhythm in your brain that relates to memory. Maybe there really is a statistical layer. Maybe there really is like neurons firing, not firing. Maybe there really is a set of ones and zeros. Maybe there really is a set of proportions in your mind that when you see it, it starts to be recognizable, but not at a narrative. I mean, it's not like you sort of go, oh yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a familiar tune, but that you're actually seeing something familiar. And the numbers stay because I think the numbers, it's part of the same reason things poke out at you, is that the numbers hit your brain, so you've got a couple of things firing simultaneously in your brain and that feels a certain way and so the rhythm has sort of a simultaneity to it so it starts to feel like a real experience and it takes you back to something that you've been before. I mean the, the intention of using the sleep patterns is to try to deliver a rhythm that somebody looks at it and goes that feels like me. That feels like you're talking to me in the same pattern that I'm made up of. Somehow if there's an external pattern that matches my internal pattern it's like it's going to have this moment where it hums. You know, you sort of hit a resonant frequency, hum, and, and then it feels like it mirrors you, and it's intended to be comforting.